Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. I do a lot of lip videos. I just did a 30 day lip challenge. I will link that right here. It's super fun. It was challenging, but very fun. Uh, check that out. But I do tons of lip videos mostly. And uh, today I am doing a sport favorites video. I'm so excited for this video because I was waiting like a dog waits for its owner for this damn notification that I got the, sh the, the shipment. Um, I got the new Sephora Favorites Bite the Bullet Lip Kit. And this has been a long time coming. I'm surprised it's not to give me some nude lip kit because that seems to be their most popular and they have not put out any of their lip kits since January. So I will link the, the video from January up here, but they have not done a lip kit since January, which is nuts to me. Um, they've done a lot of like big kits that included lipsticks, but no like, specific lip kit with full size lip products, only lip products, you get what I'm saying. So this Bite the Bullet lip kit comes with two full size products, which is great. I would like to think they like heard my calling of like complaining about them not doing enough full size products, but probably not because they don't watch my videos. The two full size products in this kit are the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Quench Lip Rescue in the color Berry, and then the second one is the Urban Decay Vice Lipstick in Back Talk. Uh, I've tried Back Talk like as a sample before and I actually really like it so I'm excited to put that on. It's been a while. And then it also includes a Bite Beauty Amuse Bouche lipstick in Chai and uh, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Mini Matte Lipstick in Dead Roses. Never tried that one. And also the Laura Mercier Rouge Essential Silky Creme Lipstick in Rouge Ultime. Um, so I have not tried most of these but I've tried one or two. I think I've tried Back Talk and I've tried the Bite Beauty Chai. Uh, which I actually had a sample of and I think I gave it away. I can't remember if I decluttered it. I digress. Um, this retails for 25 US dollars and it says it's a $63 value, but to make the deal even better, I'm giving one away. So I recently noticed I've gotten close to 3,000 followers. I'm quite close to hitting 3K, so I thought this would be my 3K giveaway. I will swatch one set giveaway one set. I would like to disclaim, I will give you all the giveaway information at the end, but I just wanna let everybody know I'm going to be announcing the giveaway this time on Instagram, the winner. So I, I think I've had issues in the past with people saying like, did anybody even win this? When I would put the uh, winners in the description box and I don't think that's a very communicative way of, of telling you who's won and who hasn't won. So I'm gonna announce it on Instagram as well as on YouTube, but YouTube will still be in the description box, but follow my Instagram right here and you can keep up with me. I think that would just make it a lot easier and I'm gonna announce the winner on my stories and on my um, page once the giveaway is over. So I think that would be a lot more efficient and I think it's easier to communicate with everybody that way. Okay, I've zoomed in a little so that you can hopefully see my face a little bit better. I'm gonna start with Bite Beauty's Chai and it's a deluxe size. Let's see how this looks. This is a really interesting color. I actually really like this. I think, um, especially in the fall, I will like this even more, but I really love Bite Beauty Amuse Bouche lipsticks. I've talked about this a lot in my videos and I've tried on a ton of Bite Beauty lipsticks. I've done swatch videos, etc., cetera, et cetera. Um, I always say that the Bite Beauty lipsticks in dark colors don't work for me because the Amuse Bouche formula is so creamy that it kind of goes everywhere. But this is kind of the perfect balance of like a, for me, it's a darker nude, but for other skin tones, it may or may not be. Um, nice, I think it's more versatile for a variety of skin tones than a lot of the nudes that they usually include because usually they're even too light for me, which means like they're gonna be really, really light for other people and even lighter for some and unwearable for a lot of people. So I'm glad that this is decently um, universal, even though there is no universalness to shades. The next one I'm gonna try on is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Mini Matte Lipstick in the color Dead Roses. It sounds very morbid, but uh, looks like a beautiful, kind of darker mauve shade, so let's try it on. Uh-oh, I see a little griege. I feel undertones of griege and I'm scared. <laughs> um, 
This, for being a matte lipstick and me not having any kind of lip moisturizer on, actually went on pretty smoothly. It kind of pulled, but my lips are really dry. I just took off my lip product with micellar water, so no moisturization. So with that said, I still, I think it's a good formula. It's super opaque. It doesn't seem very patchy at all. I just think, I'm not sure if the undertone. So it seems like a nice color, but not really my color. It is very matte, very opaque, and almost feels like the bullet style of their liquid lipstick, so. Overall, I think it's nice. I think it's pretty and it looks relatively long lasting. That's a good kiss test. Um, the Bite Beauty one, I didn't kiss test, but I know that would transfer fully anyway because those kind of do unless you bluff them. So this was the Anastasia Beverly Hills mini matte lipstick in the color Dead Roses. Next one I'm gonna try on is the Laura Mercier Rouge Essentiel in the color, what color is this? Rouge Ultime. These feel like they've like melted in the, in the Houston heat because they're all wobbly and like melty. I am surprisingly quite impressed with this. It almost looks matte in the viewfinder, but is so sheer in a way and comfortable. And I think the color is beautiful. I'm not a huge fan of red lipstick, um, but actually really impressed with it. It's very cool tone, so it makes my teeth look white. And um, it went on so smoothly and comfortably and I barely put on anything. Like it's just such a thin layer and it's not matte at all. But for some reason, it just looks so luxurious and luscious, and I love this so far. I'm very excited to wear this out. It's not often that I find a red that really floats my boat, so I'm really excited about this. Again, it's the Laura Mercier, can't read it, Rouge, Ess Rouge. Rouge Essentiel in the color Rouge Ultime. The next lipstick I'm gonna try on is one of the two full-size lipsticks, and this one is Urban Decay's back talk. Now when I opened this, I got a little bit scared because like I said, from the heat, it looks like these have all kind of, they have a little bit of condensation or wax bloom on them. And I thought this was glittery and I almost flipped out. And I was like, no, but it's not glittery. And it's a full size of such a beautiful mauve. It's a nice um, mauve-y nude. Um, again, depending on your skin tone, this may or may not be a nude for you, but um, I believe this is their, yeah, it's their comfort mat. So they have like a super matte mat that's like really matte. And this one's kind of a comfortable, mostly matte finish. And I really like the Urban Decay lipstick. So let's try this one on. Okay, I guess I forgot how comfortable this lipstick was. It went on like a freaking lip balm, but it's like a, a matte, it's like a semi matte. Um, Again, this is Back Talk by Urban Decay. To me, in the viewfinder, it looks a lot more purple. This is what I'm saying when I say that on my olive skin tone, any inkling of a white base or any tiny bit of, of a purpley undertone gets really, really amplified for me. And instead of being the, the beigey nude pink that it looks like in the tube in person, it, to me, it looks like it's like a white-based mauve with a lot of purple in it. That's mostly in the viewfinder now. On the on the in the mirror, it actually looks better, but still, I don't know. I'm a little sad because I love this formula and I love the Urban Decay Vice lipsticks just in general, and I love that it's full size. But I don't know about the color. I'm not fully sold, and it transfers. But it is a comfort matte. It's not like a matte matte, um, so I'm not surprised that it transfers a little bit. The last one I'm going to try on is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Quench. Lip Rescue in the color Berry. It's a gorgeous berry, but looks very much like a lip tint, so I don't think this will go on with full color or full opacity, which I prefer. Um, let's try it on. This is also one of the two full-size products. Did you see my face light up? Did you see it? Oh my God, it's a beautiful, sheer, comfy, lip balmy color. That makes no sense, but you get it. Oh my God. Now the only thing that I'm already starting to cry about is it has a slight tingle and that makes me very sad. But I digress, I will be okay with that. This is awesome, it's a full size. This is perfect for summer. It's so comfortable and so um, my lips but better no matter what color your lips are. I assume if you have less pigmented lips, it's gonna be a little bit more obvious on you. I have slightly more pigmented lips, so it doesn't really, it almost enhances it just a little. It doesn't really look that obvious. But oh my God, I love it. It looks so moisturized and healthy. Um, really, really like this one. Upon first impression, I'm not even gonna bother with a kiss test because we all know how that's gonna end. 
So overall, I really, really am impressed with this set. I don't think it's like the most mind-blowing set they've ever come out with, for sure. I think they've had a lot more exciting sets in the past, but um, I think this is one of the first sets where I've genuinely liked every single product, and I think they did a much, much better job of catering to different skin tones in just one set than they have in the past. Now, <sighs> I say this in every freaking video, and if you watch my Support Favorites videos, you're probably sick of hearing this, but I think they need to make every single set a, like at least two sets. One for lighter skin tones, one for darker skin tones. Even that doesn't capture every skin tone that needs to be represented, but even then it would be like a little bit more of a valiant effort to meet the needs of every different skin tone instead of having shades that only certain people can wear. Um, I will say the Urban Decay Back Talk is definitely the lightest shade in my opinion, and I think it, even on me, it looked a little white basey. A little bit light, but um, in general, I think these are pretty versatile, especially compared to a lot of their other sets. And I especially love this Tarte one. I think I'm just partial to basic, easy, balmy shades because I'm lazy in the morning. Like when I'm going out for like a nice dinner or just some thing, like I don't know, an event or a club or whatever, a party, like that's different. I'll take my time and apply something really nice. But in the morning, I'm sleepy, I'm running late, and I just wanna. Um, overall though, the formulas, I think we're all pretty decent. They all really pass the kiss test pretty decently. Um, the only one that's really super matte is the Anastasia Dead Roses Mini Matte Lipstick. But even then, I, I mean, I liked that one. It's not my favorite for sure, but I was super impressed with this red Laura Mercier shade because I don't really usually like reds that much. I, I just don't wear them as, as beautiful as they are. But I just love the color and the formula of this, so I definitely will be reaching for this. Overall, I'm impressed. I think it's definitely worth the $25, but as I always say, it's only worth it if you're actually gonna use it, if you're just gonna buy it and stuff it in a drawer. Not worth it. This is the product that's gonna be given away. I'm gonna put all the information in the description box too, but essentially there's a gleam.io link that you can click and it gives you different options. I think the only thing that's mandatory is that you subscribe to me and that you watch this full video. And then if you wanna subscribe uh, subscribe to me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram, that would count as an extra entry, Twitter, et cetera, et cetera. So it'll give you a lot of entry options. Just make sure that you are subscribed to my channel right here and then, um, yeah, I don't know, give this video a thumbs up and let me know what you thought. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this. I really wanna know what you think, so comment below and let me know what you think about this set. This giveaway is open worldwide, so it doesn't matter where you live, you can still enter. I will ship this to whoever wins. And again, like I said, I will be announcing the winner on Instagram this time so that we can have a little bit more clear communication. So follow me on Instagram to keep up with uh, all of that jazz. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really enjoyed trying on this set um, and it was one that I've actually surprisingly liked pretty much all of the lipsticks and that doesn't always happen. I usually have a few complaints. <laughs> um, I appreciate you watching this. Please subscribe if you haven't already done so to my channel for more lip videos just like this one. Don't forget to enter my giveaway and I will see you in my next video. Have a great one.